This is SAT test one, calculator question number 19. We have a system of equations here, as we'll see shortly. They're asking about a food truck selling salads and drinks, and they give you two statements about the numbers of salads and numbers of drinks. And we have two statements about the same two quantities. Typically, that's intended to be a system of equations. So let's take a look at it. The total of 209 salads and drinks, so using S for the number of salads, and D for the number of drinks, that's saying S plus D equals 209. They also say that the salads sell, sell for $6.50 each and the drinks for $2 and the total sales were $8.36.50. So that's $6.50 salads plus 2 times the number of drinks equals $8.36.50. The easiest way to solve the system is to substitute in the answer choices they gave you in a second equation to see which one gives you the correct amount of revenue. So if I sold 77 salads, that's S equals 77. The number of drinks is 209 minus 77, and that's 132. And I would definitely do this arithmetic on the calculator to avoid careless error. And then I have 6.5 times 77 minus 2 times 132 is 132. I wrote plus and I typed the wrong thing. 764.50. It's important to pay attention so that you recognize when you've done something careless and the answer doesn't make sense. Let's try the next choice. 6.5 times 93 salads plus twice. If I have 209 salads plus drinks combined, 209 minus 93 is 116 drinks at $2 each. So that gives me 836.50. 93 salads works, so that's the correct answer just by plugging in your answer choices. We don't need these systems of equation skills, we just need the test taking skills they're asking you to find the right answer. The right answer is one of those four. So I try them until one of them works. But there's more. Again, this is a calculator question, and it is a system of equations. I wrote the system of equations. Let's solve it using matrices on the calculator. You can convert a system into a matrix if you have the variables in the same order on the left hand side of the equal sign and then the constant on the right by itself. So this is 1 times s, I'll write a 1, plus 1 times d, I'll write a 1, equals 209. And the 209 has to be on the right side of the equal sign by itself. And then 6.5 times s, 2 times d, 836.50. If I enter that into my calculator, and then go to matrix math on the TI-83 or 84, reduce row echelon form of matrix, I entered it as A, gives me 1, 0, 0, 1. You will always get those first two columns if there is a solution. I'm sorry, if there's a unique solution. And then 93, 116. So this was reduced row echelon form. Now I'm going to convert this matrix back to a system using the same rules I used to go from the system to the matrix. So this one in this position stands for one times s. A zero here means plus zero d, but one s plus zero d is just s, equals 93. The second row is zero s plus one d, which just means one d, or d, equals 116. This system has the same solution as the original system because I converted using the rules for reduced row echelon form, which can be done by hand, but certainly not as a good choice under time pressure. And they're asking for S, which is 93 again. Again, the same answer I got by plugging in choices. Let's try another method.
And again, this is a calculator question. I'm going to take the second equation and solve for d. If I subtract s from both sides, I get d equals 209 minus s. I can substitute that in for d in the second equation and get 6.5s plus twice the expression that equals d equals 836.50. And I solve for d because then I can substitute in for d and elim eliminate d and the only variable I have is s which is what they're asking for. This is an equation with only one variable. So on the TI-84 or 83, I can go to y equals, enter the left-hand side in y1, the whole left-hand side, enter the whole right-hand side in y2, and then find the point of intersection on this calculator that is the second key, and then the trace key, second trace is calculate, and then choice five is intercept, and if I've chosen an X window that includes all possible answers, so my X at max has to be, be bigger than 105, I use 200. If I want to see the intersection, which I usually like to do, I know that I want y max bigger than 83650, so I chose 1,000. And then the calculator defaults to y1 for your first function, y2 for the second function, so I just hit enter twice. And a lot of us will use the cursor to move close to the point of intersection. That's not a good use of your time. For guess, just hit enter and see if it comes up with the answer. And it does. It says intersection x equals 93, y equals 836.50. We knew that if there's a point in the intersection, the y value would be 836.50 because this expression has to be 836.50 when they intersect. And x equals 93, since I entered, S, the number of salads, as X, that means our answer is 93, which I already found two other ways. Let's try another method. I tried matrices. I tried substituting in num numbers. I tried eliminating, I tried, um, substitution just now. Let's try eliminating a variable by multiplying this first row through by negative 2. So negative 2s minus 2d. And I chose negative 2 because 2d and negative 2d, when I add them, will cancel. So I'm going to end up adding these two equations and they're there will be 0d, so the only variable left will be s. And twice 209 is negative 418 when I multiply by negative 2. When I add these two equations, 6.5s minus 2s is 4.5s. 2d minus 2d is 0, and 836.50 minus 2 times 209 is 418. And I could have just said minus 418, but I've got a calculator, might as well like check my math. Divide both sides by 4.5 to get s by itself. And we could have done this by hand, it would just take a little while for things like dividing by 4.5. I get s equals 93, the same answer. So there's multiple ways of solving the system of equations. I would encourage you when you're practicing for the SAT, try multiple methods. After you finish a test, 
go back and redo your systems or equations with a couple other methods just to improve your proficiency because sometimes one method is easier sometimes another. Also possibly after you practice a few times with a method that is initially unfamiliar you'll decide that, that really is your favorite especially matrices when you've got the calculator. So come back soon for my next math video. With math there's always more.